Drake, what was it like having Antoine back specifically? Because uh, we haven't seen him all year. He caught two big touchdown passes for you. Oh yeah, um, you know, AG, he's a, he's, he's a great player. You know, he's made plays here, um, you know, for, for years now. And uh, obviously he had some, you know, towards the end of the last season, he made some big plays. So, uh, you know, not just deep ball threat, you know, he's a good route runner. And, uh, you, know, you know, it's a lot of experience comes with, you know, just uh, making plays. So, uh, you know, he's, he's looked good in practice. And I'm honestly uh, just surprised that get back from, you know, his injury so fast. Um, it shows, you know, his love, you know, for the game. And uh, his work, work ethic. So, yeah, go ahead. Is that a little something different that he brings that to the deep routes that, that makes him such a threat there? It's a little bit different speed, a little bit different something? Um, yeah, I think the one thing is, you know, he's about 6'2 or 3. So I think, you know, a lot of guys just, um, you know, kind of deep defensive backs just may kind of sleep on his speed. Um, but he's so smooth. Um, you know, him and him and Gavo and uh, this, you know, deep ball guys are just so smooth. Uh, I think they kind of, you know, deceptively fast. But, you know, AG's fast in general. So, uh, you know, I think he knows, like, you know, how it sets, sets up defenders and, uh, you know, windy. But also, you know, when you give him the ball, he can make some guys miss. And, uh, you know, he's just good with the ball. So he's good for the ball. Now that you're four games in, is there anything you look back at from last year's experience, just kind of learning in the shadows, so to speak, that you, that you have applied now? Like, is there any one thing you feel like last year prepared you for, you know, as a, as a full-time starter now? Um, I think, you know, the main thing last year um, that kind of, you know, helped me from Sam was just, you know, uh, moving on to the next game. Um, I think Sam did a nice job of kind of, you know, after Sunday, um, we watched the film, he just, you know, get back on the next opponent, and uh, I think that's the main thing we got to do. You know, don't let one game be his twice, you know, Coach Brown always says that. So, you know, put another game in the past, and uh, let's look forward to AC play and Green Tech. That's the main focus. Max, is that? <clears throat> just to follow up on that, thank you, to Follow up with what you told CL, like, is that something you just watch Sam do? Like you're talking about moving on to the next game. I mean, he was getting sacked all over the place and stuff like that. Did you just watch him do that, or did y'all talk about this? Like, did he say, like, look, when it's your turn, you got to be able to put it in the past quickly? I mean, was those conversations y'all had? Mm -hmm. Stuff you observed? Uh, I think it was kind of more observed. You know, we, we you know, mainly our conversations are just about, you know, you know, the, the other team and uh, you know what other things going around in the ACC. Um, so, you know, kind of that, that personal stuff about just, you know, leaving in the past, just kind of stuff that I observed, and I thought he did a nice job with it. Um, you know, I know a lot of things from Sam, but uh, I think that's one of the main things he does He does well. You know, he puts in the past, whether it's the last drive or play. I think sometimes, you know, I hang, hang myself on, um, you, know, you know, bad plays or negative plays, and I kind of, you know, need to put that in the past and just get on the next play or the next game. So. Max said yesterday that quarter, ball security of quarterbacks can be a little tricky because you guys don't get hit in practice or anything like that. You have two fumbles this year, so is there something that you do at this point in the season maybe to help with ball security, or is it just something that you just kind of deal with as you get into games? Um, no, I think, you know, I just need better, better, be better in practice. Starts with practice. You know, you practice how you play, just keeping two hands on the ball in the pocket. Uh, I think I, I've gotten a little, you know, um, you know, carried away with kind of holding it in one hand, and uh, obviously that play was a huge play, um, you know, change the game. You know, up front, they, they, they could have squeezed in the linebacker blitz because they end up peeling on the on the on the running back, which is kind of the hot the hot throw. But uh, you know, just emphasizing it. You know, Chris Long is emphasizing it, and it's just hurting the team. So I got to be better and uh, keep two hands on the ball. And uh, you know, I think it's something that's always in the back of your mind if you're going through practice now. That's kind of a little, as it's becoming a little bit of an issue. So just kind of you know hanging in on that and uh, just trying to keep that back in my mind. Now piggybacking off of what Adam said, 